Welcome back everyone. This is the lecture on dark web. Let's get let's get a basic understanding about what dark web is. All right. So the first thing that we, we need to understand is uh, with an example in a way. Look at this iceberg. The iceberg is basically gives you a very clear idea about it. I'll tell you how. When you look at the iceberg, you can only see the tip of it, right? The the outer part of it and there's something inside of it that that's not really that clear right and that's how we can actually put an analogy to a uh, kind of correlations with our dark web episode, uh, as well right i'll tell you how the, it's the thing that you see uh, on the top that's basically the surface web that's basically the public web that's where that is what you access uh, to your normal browser for maybe accessing Facebook, uh, Instagram, YouTube, everything. Your net banking, your social media accounts, your personal uh, business works, everything, right? Now see how this works. Everything that you, let's say you go to Google and type uh, maybe in search maybe cat. The moment you type this, you get thousands of results coming in right how that really comes in is because of indexing google index every website every pages of it every pages google index it so that uh, you 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 get to see on the result and how that really works whenever somebody create a website okay it makes sure that this website should be crawled by google so google basically in a period of time goes to go to thousands, I mean, sorry, not really thousands, all those millions and millions of websites in a period and then crawl those websites, their individual pages, and bring it to you on your search result, right? So if any website or any website is not indexed, you won't be able to see that on your result page, right? So what do you see on the result? that comes in through the uh, indexing and that's called surface web or publicly available web now what you see on the down that's something which is not really accessible and that's where the dark web really comes in and in in the in the in the real world the dark web is not really accessible by your normal browser and for this you might have to use um, different browser and I'll tell you what it is right the first thing is I just talked about it not indexed by the uh, normal browser that's what the dark web is dark web is basically sites uh, kind of a set of content is basically a set of uh, it's a network where we have set of uh, thousands of website thousands of website these are ending with dot onion right so the way we have a tld top level domains that maybe starting with examples.com dot net then dot tech then we have dot co all those stuff right this is the top level domain that's how we identify any website that falls into to dot org as well right so similar to the dark web whatever the web pages or content that present in the dark web that ends with a tld uh, dot onion right and these are not indexed that's why nobody can crawl it nobody get to see what it is right that's where that's why you don't able to see those results with with your in a uh, Google indexing right because it's not really indexed by the developer itself now of course as I told you that's a need of a different set of uh, different set of browser for it in order to access those dot onion sites and these uh, the, to access it you need to make use of Tor browser and I'll tell you how to install and set up and everything right <laughs> now <clears throat> sorry why why do we use the dark web or why do we make use of tor browser is something different i mean some uh, in a way we don't really make use of dark web but in to make use of tor browser it's very different we make use of tor browser for free speech as well for not really for dark web but yes for tor browser we make use of it for the free speech it can help you to share the content because this cannot be accessed by anyone but even if you share any data on the dot onion you it ensure that nobody can access to it right so it help you there and uh, make sure you share some legitimate content right but um, 
unfortunately it is not really used for that healthy purpose it is that's why it is heaven that's why it is heaven for all these illegal activities because the, on the one side you can use for your uh, you know hiding your identity because when you are into pre uh, activity of uh, free speech or human rights and all those stuff on the other hand it also gives a power to the bad peoples who want to make use of for multiple illegal activities and you know those stuffs are actually on the large number in a way the people are making use of it on a very high numbers although most of them are fraud but yes it is bad right and then of course uh, in order to make sure you you know in order to make sure you get access to the dark web you do some stuff the people who provide some services you get out of it you you know credit card will never really doesn't work and it is not really advisable to make use of it bitcoin is the one that you know that should be used all right so this is to give you an idea about what dark web is and how they really what the world really looks like on the nutshell all right so i hope you got the idea about this uh, content we'll catch you in the next lecture thank you